It's awesome when you come out here. What have you been up to lately? I've been so busy. Uh, I'm talking to customers, everything from enterprise customers down to SMB customers, mm -hmm. uh, mostly Oracle customers that have been running Oracle applications on-prem. Mm -hmm. And they're asking me, can I run these on-prem applications in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure? <laughs> well, you're talking to the right guy today. That's I know. That's exactly what I've been working on. It's great. How far are we? What, well, what's going on? I mean, let's rewind a little, right? Um, you know, about a year ago when we launched Oracle Cloud Infrastructure for the first time. Hey, Sarah. Thanks. Um, cheers, yeah, by the way. Oh, cheers, man. Um, yeah, when we launched it about a year ago, right, we started out a pretty blank canvas, right? We, we shipped some really awesome, highly performance compute, great network, um, the very first cloud in the industry, public cloud in the industry to have, to essentially give, give you bare metal servers programmatically. Yep. Right? And those are great building blocks, real differentiators. And, you know, a lot of our customers looked at it and thought, like, wow, that is pretty awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. But what was the next question they asked? Run their applications. There you, there you go, <laughs> right? right? Oracle so, workloads. Uh, so that's precisely why I started to like focus a bunch of my time on it. I, I mm -hmm. went down to HQ, met with all these application teams, built partnerships with them. Also spent a bunch of time talking to customers and really looking at how they manage and run their Oracle applications mm -hmm. on-premises today. Right. Uh, and that drove a few things. It, it made us understand some of the uh, features and solutions we need to be building in the platform itself in yep. order to really do a good job supporting these applications. Yeah, you uh, have probably seen what I have seen, which is these are very complicated environments, right? They have been working with these for years. Absolutely. And to lift and shift that into the cloud right. seems like a daunting challenge. It, it, you know, for many customers it really is. And so that's why we worked on the next thing, which is with each of these application teams, what we're doing is we're working on uh, solutions that essentially automate deployment as well as lift and shift hmm. of these applications to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And, and, and these tools are being built in such a way that you can take all your customizations, all your integrations, and just essentially um, wow. move them right here without any re-implementation for all practical That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. My two biggest customers today uh, are both, one's an EBS customer, mm -hmm. another one's a JDE customer. How can we get their on-prem environments into Oracle Cloud Infrastructure? We have two tools that we've recently released with the eBusiness Suite team as well as the Oracle JD Edwards team. Um, with, for eBusiness Suite, we have something called the EBS, EBS Cloud Automation Tool. And this is what it can do for your customer. Um, it can either sort of get a very quick and dirty demo environment up and running on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And what that does is they can just sort of play around with that environment and really get to experience all the benefits of running in the cloud without having to touch any of their existing data or mess with their existing systems. Great. So they can really, you, know, you can really get them comfortable uh, using it uh, and realizing those kind of, and, and show them what the benefits are. Okay. Then the next thing this tool can do is actually take their on-premises environment and lift and shift it to the cloud. Hmm. And so, you know, over the course of an, a night, perhaps, employees can be us using eBusiness Suite one day, and it happens to be hosted on premises, and the very next day when they come into work, it's hosted in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. It'll oh, look man. the same, the customizations will be the same, it's the same EBS, it's just running for all practical purposes in a this different data great. center. This is great. Mm -hmm. I, my two biggest customers, yeah. EBS and JD Edwards. Right. So I should also mention we have something very similar that we've recently done with JD Edwards Enterprise okay. One. There's this tool called the One Click Provisioning Tool. Um, and it can essentially do largely the same thing. Um, there's one small difference in the sense that JD Edwards uses uh, different kind of infrastructure in terms of it uses Linux boxes for the app tier, mm. um, as well as a Windows server for deployment. Okay. But we support that in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, so it, it was actually quite easy to automate the creation of the infrastructure and then run this uh, one-click provisioning tool on top of that and essentially get a JD Edwards Enterprise environment running that's great. Uh, running on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure as well. Yeah, because these the people that I'm talking to have been using JDE and and EB, EBS for, for years, yeah. right? And it's extremely complicated. They have very mm -hmm. complex environments that are running multiple modules within both of those apps. Mm -hmm. Getting all of this migrated up to the cloud would be would be tremendous for them. Yeah, tremendous no. cost savings. I think one of the main points about this automation that, that is worth mentioning is that you know, when we talk to customers, a lot of them are not quite familiar with the cloud. Right? They know their apps really well, 
But when it comes to setting up infrastructure like a network and security lists and applying good cloud security best practices, that's a new thing for them. So that's another reason why we think these automations and blueprints that, that were provided will really help them out because you know, it's a bit of a new environment. Right? The apps will behave in much the same way. I mean, as far as the app's concerned, it's just running on a computer somewhere. This right? is so great. But it sort of takes a bunch of the complexity out of the equation for the, for the apps DBA. Well, I gotta get started on this right away. We have a lot of tools available that I can point you to. Um, you know, if you, in fact, if you just go to our documentation website, you can hit the Getting Started Guide. Great. And there's a link right there. It'll take you to the learning library. So it's all yeah. documented. I, they can start tomorrow. They absolutely can start tomorrow.